So today I'll be introducing the new WP800 mobile Wi-Fi IP phone. Besides a combination of advanced telephony features and durability, this powerful portable Wi-Fi phone is a standalone phone with two SIP accounts and two lines, which makes it able to set up three-way audio conference calls. The WP800 uses Wi-Fi 802.11 ABGN dual band standard connect to the Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi roaming support. This has integrated Bluetooth of 4.0 for syncing headsets, also with a powerful battery life that allows for 150 hours standby mode and 7.5 hours of active talk time. All this makes the WP800 ideal for mobilizing your VoIP network in residences, warehouses, retail stores, hotels, and many more environments. There has already been many interests and several requests for warehouses and healthcare units. So out of the box, you'd find the WP800 uh, handset with a universal power adapter, one charging station, a belt clip to carry the WP800 around, two rechargeable batteries for a longer use of the phone, and finally a GPL statement and one quick installation guide to guide you through the steps of how to set up your WP. The battery technology is based on lithium ion with a normal voltage of 3.8 volts and limited charge voltage of 4.35 volts. This battery provides a capacity of 1500 milliamps, which again, as I mentioned before, allows the phone to stay on standby mode up to 150 hours or talking time up to 7.5 hours. Um, now let's tackle its highlighted features uh, here are the handset keys. I won't bore you with the obvious here, so I'll just go through a couple of key notes. Uh, number one shows the proximity sensor. This can detect and measure gravitational acceleration, tilt, vibration, altitude changes, and static position of the WP800. So just like your mobile phone, if you call someone and have the phone by your ear or covering the sensor, your phone would go into a save battery mode and the screen brightness will dim. So this also applies with the WP800 as well, where if you make a call, the screen will be darker when uh, putting the phone by your ear. And when you're done and not covering the sensor, it'll appear back to the screen, to the brightness that it was on. And number five has the push to talk button. I have slides dedicated to this uh, walkie-talkie-like feature later in the presentation. Number six features the hands-free speaker key. With this, you can switch between headsets and hands-free speaker modes. Number 10, the mute key, of course, activates or deactivates the mute feature um, when pressing on the asterisk button. And lastly, number 13 points out its 2.4 inch 240 by 320 F, uh, TFT color LCD screen. Now let's look at some of uh, the technical specs. The WP800 has HD voice and dual mic design with wide band voice codec such as Opus. If you're clum clumsy like me, you can drop the phone from 1.5 meters and it'll be fine because the casing provides great durability and protection. Because the uh, WP runs on Android, we currently have languages in Japanese and Korean available. In a nutshell, these are the technical specs that you can look at uh, later at your own time when I send these, this presentation. And now moving on to the WP800 charging ports. You have two ways of charging. First is through the cradle charging station provided, or you can use uh, the micro USB port to charge as well. These ports can be found at the bottom of the WP handset. Now let's talk about how to set up the WP800. These instructions are fairly simple. 
first thing uh, you would want to do is plug the power adapter into a power source socket to start using the charging station. Then for the handset, open the battery cover, insert the batteries correctly in place, and close the battery cover. Charge it until it's full and it's ready to be used. Okay, so what if you want, would like to access the graphical user interface on the web? All you have to do is on your LCD menu, press the menu key and navigate to settings. Find the network status to obtain the IP address. Simply type the, IP, the phone's IP address in your web browser. Type in the default user and password listed in your quick installation guide. And also something to note here is uh, that your computer must be connected on the same network as the WP800 for this to work. Now going back to the push to talk button. Um, so when pressing the PTT button on the side next to the volume keys, you will have access to communicating with other people in the channel that you se select. Think of this like a walkie talkie where you push to talk and the receiver will instantly hear your voice. Uh, only one person can talk at a time and you cannot talk and receive at the same time. So you have the option of using the PTT um, function depending on your needs. If you want to enable or disable this feature, you can go to your menu and on the operation menu, use the arrow keys to reach settings, advanced settings, paging, and finally to the PTT settings. And after enabling this, press the save button. Now let's actually go over how the PTT features work. Basically, all you have to do to activate this is by holding down the PTT button. You'll then hear an activation beep. You can then proceed to talk. And on your screen, you'll notice that if you're the one talking, uh, the screen will show a voice signal graph in green. The receivers will receive the the graph in blue. And after the phone is done and released, uh, the, P the channel will then be open for 10 seconds so that anyone in the channel can respond. On everyone's screen, it will then uh, show a countdown in red. And a quick information to share about the channels is that the emergency and priority channels are fixed. For the rest of the channels, you can rename them however you want to default channels, class two, three, four. And so basically on this slide, I just wanted to simply illustrate that moving from one access point to another with, with Wi-Fi roaming, your calls won't be dropped. And this is our last slide. Here's a fun animation for you. And to end this, uh, let's review some valuable resources. If you haven't already yet, please sign up to become a certified Grandstream reseller. And being part of this awesome program, you'll get priority support tickets, updates, news, webinars, and training materials. You will also receive a logo shown on the top right that indicates to your partners that you are a trusted reseller. And don't forget to check out our, our Grandstream Academy page and webinar event page on our website. My next webinar will be on the GWN Mesh on June 20th. Uh, 3 p.m. Malaysia time. Notice that this webinar time will be a little bit later than usual. That's because I will be attending uh, Connect Tech Asia in Singapore. Will any of you guys be attending this event as well? If so, please check out our, our grant stream room where you can demo all our products, enter your chance uh, to win our daily giveaway prizes, and also get insider look of what's to come in the future. 
We also have another GCP uh, UC course you can take. We've been getting a lot of requests for this, so sign up as soon as you can when I make it available soon. For more information about APAC events, please follow at APAC Grand Stream on Facebook. We try to post a couple times a week, but if you notice recently, we've been really active on Facebook. I've been posting almost twice a day because there's so much content to share. Our Facebook page is really the, no the number one platform you'd want to follow to get in touch with us and see what we're doing. We also host quarterly giveaways. This quarter is a Grand Stream backpack, uh, which will end at the end of this month. So like our page before then, and you'll be entered. You can share any of the content on our page and keep updated with all the upcoming and latest videos, blogs, news, and more. Also, something really cool is that we're currently streaming live on Facebook page right now, so have a look. And that's a wrap for now. I'll take this time to allow anyone to ask any questions. This presentation will be sent to everyone who registered, so please look out for that email. For additional support and comments, please email sales underscore Asia at grandstream.com. And I know that people are going to leave here soon. So thank you again for attending this webinar. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. See you at our next training.